Hey guys, it's Megan, and this week I'm going to be continuing with my Fallout 4 DLC series thing that I've been doing. I'm going to be playing the Vault Tech DLC. It's kind of like a Let's Play mixed with a review, so it's kind of a little bit different. But I hope you enjoy, and let's get into the video. So today we're going to be playing the Vault Tech DLC. I did not intend on playing it today. I heard it came out like 10 hours ago. Um, I don't know what time that was because don't really know anything about math. Um, I just got the quest. Um, anyways, so we're gonna check this out. I'm gonna keep doing these Fallout 4 DLC reviews and I'm just gonna kind of review it as we play along. So let's tune into the radio beacon. Gotta go find Vault 1 or Vault 88. We're gonna fast travel there because I'm not walking. No. So now we are headed to Vault 88 to see what's going on. This is kind of interesting because I was under the impression that we could just build our own vault. So like if I wanted to build a vault under the ocean, I could, I guess. I guess, uh, but that's decided to disappoint me again. All right, we are at Vault 88. Hopefully I won't need my big giant thing. Oh my God, I can't see because I don't have my little light on. Can I kill this thing? Should we open the vault doors? This is probably what they want us to do. I'm already like kind of bored. Is that bad? I heard that this is really bad. Let's go. I like my little socks on my hands. That's cute. It's fun. Getting the workshop operational. Convenient. So, the next step is pressing X on this red thing. Oh look, the workshop's operational. Oh, this is kind of fun. I don't know why I like clearing rubble. It's just like a hobby of mine now because of Fallout 4 and there. Oh god, I just got rid of the floor. Oh well. Get rid of some pipes. <laughs> Why do you have to give us workshop DLC? I don't care anymore. You know, I used to love the workshop. I did. I used to love the workshop system in this game. I used to spend all day just trying to build up stuff. And you know what happened? My happiness got stuck at like 80%. That's one very old ghoul. Is she a romance option? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Until I have my desk, we can't do anything. Okay. So you can't, you can't like choose where you put your vaults. You have to have vault 88. I wanted like a really cool number. Yeah. Do I just have to put it like here or something that's lame? I want to clean up first. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. That's the only fun part about this, so is cleaning stuff up. Oh my god. I can get rid of an entire rock slide. Look at that! Alright, let's build you your stupid desk. Let's put it here, we can move it later. Oh, so it's almost, it's a lot like, um, Fallout Shelter, the app. Have you played it? I forgot what we were supposed to do. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, the beacon. This is so weird. Ooh, a mining helmet. Oh my god, dang it, now I'm over encumbered. That was really easy. Explore Vault 88. Okay. Do you see that? There's like four workshops. Okay, now I'm impressed. Good job, Bethesda. So... Great. Well, this is like a really interesting DLC because you get a bunch of workshops, right? So like, it's not gonna be super lame when it comes to like, oh my God, when it comes to building, but then you also have the fact that every single workshop comes with like these, these quests that are super lame because, did you see that? I had to kill Meyerlurks. Like, I am not level three. 
I'll give it to them. It's interesting that, like, you basically are constructing a vault from nothing. Like, just, like, Vault Tech did, you know? Very, like, immersive, whatever. Like, interesting if you're, like, interested in Vault Tech's lore and stuff. But, I mean, I could learn a lot about Vault Tech's lore just by, you know, I don't know, reading Terminals, playing Fallout 3, looking up the Fallout 1 and 2 wiki because I'm not gonna play them because they're old. Better delete that. Somebody's gonna have me skinned if they hear me say that. <laughs> Where is Pumpkin? Pumpkin never does anything for me. At least he doesn't judge me. That's all that I can ask for a follower. I guess dog meat doesn't judge me either, but... I got the North Sector thingy! There's Pumpkin. So, I have been building for about two hours now, and it's not that I'm bored of building, it's just that there's so much, like, it's insane. Like, there's so much space, and there's so much stuff that I don't really... Like, I've literally been building for two hours, and if I keep building, um, it's gonna be really late. And then, I don't know, I'm kinda, I kinda wanna, like, do a quest. Like, I, I do this all the time, where I, like, I could build for six hours straight. I have an addiction to, like, games with building in them, and I love the settlement system. I'm just, I just get, this I'm not bored of, though, because I haven't ran out of materials yet so we're gonna do the quest that's why we're here okay i don't see how that has anything to do with the quest objective well if we're doing an experiment then we need to get on with it we need to find people who can do the experiment now that that's finally over actually wasn't that bad so we have to do an experiment um I kind of want to have like an experiment room, oh, but I had I didn't build one. I'm gonna build a gym, and then I'll come back. Okay, okay. So I built my gym. Um, here's here's Clem. Yeah, there aren't enough beds. You're right. Okay. Anyways, we need power Get on the bike and <laughs> give me some power. Ooh, Dr. Braun. Does anybody know who that's from? It's from my favorite quest of all time, Tranquility Lane. I probably should have picked my perimeters. Said let him ride for an hour. So, should we wait an hour? Can we? Oh my god, we can use this? Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh god, he keeps talking. I, I might go find a seat and wait. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this is so cool. Like, why is he struggling? Oh, thank god. I was like, how embarrassing would it be if my character dropped the barbell during my video? Oh, he wrote our- Oh my god. Did he break it? Oh, I have really good perks, so it's fine. I can't believe he broke my vault. Can I kill him? I think we can fast travel from here because it's a settlement. Very unhappy settlement. I don't care. Like, deal with it. If you're not happy, you can leave. I just got really bummed out. I was building a residential area and I was like super excited for it. And then I noticed the little thing in the corner that says size. I have many times. <laughs> ran out of space in my settlement and what that it basically just means that like you build too much so you can't build anymore and you literally can't place anything and you have to start getting rid of stuff so i was like building this immaculate vault and then i look and it's already almost full so i'm super 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 bummed out about it let's do a mood enhancer I'll just sit and wait for Clem to come serve soda to our one other resident. Well, have fun, Clem. Here, wear this. All the women in the vault have to wear dresses, and all the men have to wear vault suits. It's the law. Oh, yeah, this vault's amazing. <laughs> Thank great. God. Because we don't have beds because we're going to be full. So I've been building 
for literally forever, right? And it looks like I haven't really done anything. Um, here's the thing. I wanted to finish my vault before I reviewed the DLC. I'm really overwhelmed, but overall, I'm, I mean, this is an amazing workshop DLC. There's just a lot. There's a lot, and there's, like, this pressure to, like, make a vault the way that you, like, remember it from the other games, from this game. It's not possible, and here's why. Let's, let's take a look. I think I've complained about this before, but the size. Do you see that size meter? Do you see it? Mine is almost full. Um, as you can see, like, I haven't even finished the atrium. I have no food, no water. Um, I have, like, three resident quarters. That's it. <sighs> I'm so upset. Like, I'm so... I'm gonna finish reviewing the building part of this, and then we're gonna go back into the quest. Why? This is a huge oversight. Like, let's just... Let's be honest. The size thing? Huge oversight. You get five workshops. Yeah, five workshops. And the space, let's just let's just look at the space. Like, I don't even want to go through it because I don't have time. But you get so much space. I mean, so much. And you can't even build on it because you don't have enough room in your workshop. I'm so upset. I'm sorry. If you're playing on PC, this probably won't be a problem. If you can mod it, it probably won't be a problem. I wanted to finish my vault. I wanted to have like this grand showcase. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I mean, I've been building for like four hours. Um, I looked up a forum because I was, I thought maybe mine was glitched, but people were saying that basically across the board and what happens is after you clear everything out of the vault, like everything, which is what I did, um, the size bar, it's like over half full in all the other settlements when you do that it's only like a quarter full you could literally go somewhere else spectacle island and probably build a, a better vault there we're just going to continue with the quest so let's build this thing i really want lights though we're going to read our test subjects mine <laughs> uh-oh they found out. Hey, That's yes. okay. Oh my god, pumpkin stuff. Hey so, I guess this is our last experiment, and it is a slot machine. Are they throwing it back to New Vegas? Probably not. Let's do the parameters. Do indentured servitude. He's getting a little aggressive. I saw him win once, so I don't know what he's talking about. Right, there we go. I mean, Clem's kind of stupid, so. Fine with this, because I wanted to be overseer from the beginning. I was gonna kill her. The there you go. There you go. I'm the overseer. Is that the end? Should I kill her? I don't think she'll die. Should I try it though? I mean, I am the overseer and there can only be one. Oh my god, she's dead! Oh, tech prototypes. Oh my gosh, if you kill her, you can construct a variety of vault tech prototypes. So, um, kill her. Overall, we'll, we'll just do like, I'll just walk around and talk to you guys about my review. Um, overall, I think that it's worth five dollars a hundred percent is it worth all the time i spent trying to make an immaculate beautiful gigantic extravagant vault no because of the size thing but though there's so much stuff that comes along with it so if you have like a core settlement that you've been building on for a while because i know a lot of people do that and you get a bunch of new stuff to put in as for the quest line it was pretty interesting as far as testing people i think it's kind of cool that you get the prototypes i don't know if you could get that any other way than than killing her i'm i didn't really try i just you know killed her um but <laughs> it's kind of cool to be able to like set perimeters and i'm sure that if 
this was an actual sentiment with more than two people, it would actually probably come in handy. Pretty good DLC. I've, obviously, you don't play for the story. The story wasn't even that bad. I really liked the Dr. Braun Easter egg that they did. If you haven't bought the DLC yet or you don't have the season pass yet, and I wouldn't recommend buying all the DLC if you didn't get the season pass because that's just insane. You are into settlement building. Definitely look into getting this one, especially if you're on PC or if you have access to mods, which I still think PS4 does not have access to mods. I don't know about Xbox. I haven't done my research there. Overall, I would recommend it. Is it perfect? No, it's not. But I think it's the best one we've got so far. So we'll see what happens when Nuka World comes out. Will I still stand there? I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see me play more games or talk about action figures, please be sure to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.